Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, yeah. So this coin sequence is like a uh, the the common question that always ask in the interview, and uh, I already this is not my first time uh, feeding this question. Uh, but uh, so I want to pre provide just the the quickest way so that uh, you can just finish this video in a two minutes and you get it. Okay, and I hope you guys subscribe to my channel if you want to see more interview question that you can uh click uh, this this below. Uh, okay. So you will have a fair coin. Why is the explain never going to toast to get an hash in row? Okay, so uh, let's denote the e f of n to be the uh the expected number, expected number of calls get n heads in row. Okay, so I think the the first calculation that you you should be done by yourself is very simple. Simple. You just ask what is e f one. Uh, sorry. Uh, so what what is the to get one heads right? So it's a very simple. One divided by half, right? Because the probability that you get a heads is half, right? So you should expect it just twice to get one, right? So this is, should be very trivial. Okay, so our goal is to find EF of n. Okay, so quickly, so uh, let's let's do this, right? Suppose you start from zero, and uh, after uh, exploitation value of f of n, that you arrive the n heads. Okay. Now you have uh, two possibilities, right? Maybe you have, maybe you're you're lucky. Yeah, you get uh, five hands, then you get an answer. Uh, otherwise, that you're you're suck, right? You get you get the toes, right? You need uh you need to uh, you need, you get a tail, right? You get tail. So that means you need to go back again. Okay, so this is the expectation value of f n plus one. Okay, so expectation value of f n plus one is expectation value of f of n, uh, plus, right, plus a half of the half case that you have one, right? You just need, uh, you just need the additional one, and the half of case that you 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 suck, right? You need to you need to go back, right? So you need to go back means that you already you spend the additional time one, right? Plus the total, right? Because you need to restart again. Okay, so let's maybe the make the notation simple. So let's call this a n plus one. Let's call it a n. So this is a n a n plus one. Okay, so I think what we have is a n plus one is a n plus half. Uh, plus half one plus a n plus one. So we get the two a n plus one. Uh, a n plus one plus one plus a n plus one. You get a n plus one. Where is this two? Uh, it's true. A n plus two. Okay. So uh, so what we have is right. So you can so a one is two. So a two is just two times two plus two. A six. A three is two times six plus two, which is fourteen. These are common answer. Okay. So now uh, so you can now you can use your uh. Maybe your undergraduates uh, or linear algebra to solve the recursion relation, and uh, I think it's I mean based on what 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 you have there to solve it right. But uh, so one easy way to prove it just guess the answer. Uh, but uh, I want to provide a systematic approach. Right, you can use mathematical induction. Okay. So idea is that I want to write this. this. So I want to find x such that this is true. Okay, so uh, which gives you two a n minus two x. So from this, you get the uh, a n plus one is two a n minus x. So uh, x is negative two. So you can write the equation as uh, n plus one plus two equals two a n plus two. Okay, so this equation is a uh, is a powerful one because tell you that uh, a two plus two is two a n a one plus one two. And the a3 plus 2 is 2a2 two plus 2, which is 4a1 plus 2. And then you can see the a4 plus 2 is 2a3 plus 2, is a1 a plus 2. Okay, so which tell you that a n plus 2 is, uh, is what? Is uh, 2 to the n minus 1, a1 plus 2. Okay, so. So you get the uh, this is right? so you get right you get a n equals to two to the n minus one four minus two, which is 
a n equals to two to the n plus two, uh, two to two plus two n plus plus one minus two. Okay, so uh, let's check some example. Right, so our general expression is a n equals to two to the n plus one minus two. Okay, so uh, if a two is two to the three plus minus two is six, a three is two to the four minus six, which is fourteen. Okay, so it's true. Okay, so uh, yeah, this is our answer. So it's very simple that you write down the recursive relation and using some uh, simple trick. Uh, maybe you learn this in a discrete mathematics. It's not difficult. And uh, solve this question. Okay, hope you guys subscribe to my channel and. Uh,